Brittany Force and Sean Langdon are not sitting number 14 and number 16. If you recall Brittany's run last time, it got down there and just burned itself up at the top end of the racetrack. I went by in between rounds and asked David Grubnick, where was the fuel going that was supposed to go in the engine? Because it just looked like it was getting lean. And he said the fuel system never activated. If you're a hardcore fan, these cars leave burning 60 gallons of fuel a minute. Once they get out there about 1.2, 1.3 seconds, you start putting more fuel in it. When they get in the middle, they're at full load. They're getting more than 80 gallons a minute. Well, that one wasn't. It was on starting line fuel load all the way to the finish line. So more load, more RPM, need more fuel, and the car wasn't getting it. When you don't have fuel, it burns everything else in there, like the heads and the pistons, the valve seat. Sean Langdon, DHL, CMR, Coletta Air, and Coletta Careers. Langdon trying to get off the bump spot. Brittany trying to move up from 14. Brittany's car, wow, Brittany's car knocked the head gaskets out of it and still went to the number one spot. Are you kidding me? 3.696, 327 miles an hour with the gaskets out. Langdon goes 3.801 at 322 miles an hour. And David Grubnick, I'm not going to say it's 100% fixed because you saw the flash out there, but holy smoke, start wondering about what might have been. Brittany from 14 to number one, and that was not a perfect run. 69-6. Here comes the replay on NHRA.TV. Brittany Force on the right side of the screen. Both of them cleanly off the starting line. Brittany very aggressive early. Right there, it's got a head gasket out of it. And it pushes her over towards the center line, but she kept her foot down, kept it on her side, and goes right straight to the top. Well, let the games begin.